everyone, so the book to for 2015 is over and while I said I was going to tentatively participate, I didn't participate as well as I thought I would. I guess that can be expected, like I said, I was working and I did have uni over the past week, so I really did have a lot of time to be reading. But anyway, let me just show you the things that I did manage to read. The first book that I mentioned in my to be read was Women of Letters, curated by Marie Cardi and Michaela Maguire. This was the book I was currently reading and I was about 100 or 50 pages out from the end. I filmed that on a Saturday so I said I'd probably be finishing it that day and I did. I finished this the Saturday before the booktubeathon started. Then I also mentioned the book The Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother by Amy Tra. This I actually picked up on the Sunday before booktubeathon started because I hadn't been reading anything and then I finished it on that Sunday so I read this the Sunday before the booktubeathon started but I thought I'd mention it anyway because I did mention it in my TBR. So on to books I actually read during the booktubeathon. The first is For the Term of His Natural Life by Marcus Clark. This I'm reading for an Australian lit class that I'm doing this year and I managed to read up to page 57 so I didn't make that much progress at all but I have a few weeks before I need to talk about this in class so I have a bit of time to finish this. I mysteriously mentioned in my to be read that a book was coming for me in the mail for another class but I didn't mention the title or anything about it for some reason and that was Roxana by Daniel Defoe. I'm reading this for a novel world's history of the novel class that I'm doing. I did manage to finish this in the week of the booktubeathon. It was alright. If you've read More Flanders, it's basically the same story except for Roxana is rich and More Flanders is not. After that I picked up The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. This is a collection of essays and stories published by her family posthumously. If you don't know, Marina Keegan was a Yale graduate from America. She was a published poet, journalist, just general writer and she was really outspoken and a wonderful woman who was going on to have a fantastic career at uh, New York publication. Two days after her graduation she was in a car crash and she died. So this is a collection of essays and stories that she wrote before her death that her family has since published. I really enjoyed reading this mostly because she was a young aspiring writer and I'm also a young aspiring writer so I really liked seeing that kind of drive that she had that I would like to also emulate. It's divided into two sections. The first is her fiction work, her short stories, and the second is some non-fiction essays that she wrote for newspapers or for classes or things like that. Honestly, I thought the fiction section was pretty good. It had a lot of really nice stories about young people, but I didn't think it was anything amazing. They didn't wow me. Whereas the non-fiction section I thought was really well written. She's got a real way of words with non-fiction pieces, turning them into stories. And I really enjoyed those a lot. But all in all, I thought this was really worth reading, especially if you're interested in becoming a writer or are interested, I guess, in, in modern youths and how they are hoping to enter the world. Um, this is just a really nice insight to how one girl was approaching graduation and the life ahead of her. The last book that I mentioned in my to be read was Don Watson's Death Sentence. Unfortunately I haven't read this one during the booktubeathon but keep in mind I'm filming this at about one o'clock on Sunday the 9th so I do have like what 11 hours that I could read this between now and then and I just might really but I'll let you know down below in the description if I do read this, but I'll also link my Goodreads and then you can keep up, see if I even start this today. So those are all of the books that I read during the Booktubeathon or did not read during the Booktubeathon. If you participated, please let me know what you picked up and what you thought of what you picked up down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.